Hi guys, welcome to Placement Drive. I'm Shashantan. In this video, we're going to continue our Likud series. And today, we're going to see problem number 169, which is the majority element. Simply, the question states that in an array, there will be a number of elements, and one element will be repeated more than n by 2 times. That is, more than half the number of uh, the array elements will be one element. That's what uh, it stated. We, we, we should find which element repeats more than n by 2 times. That's uh, simple as that. Um, I, would uh, I have found around uh, three approaches for this problem. First, we will uh, see uh, in detail about the two approaches, which is very, very easy and which it ca you can first think of, which is very intuitive. And we will see another uh, approach, uh, move sorting algorithm, which is not that intuitive. But if you learn that approach, it is, it is the best uh, efficient uh, approach for this problem. So let's see the first uh, two approaches. Uh, first, as the problem states, it's the number the element which we are going to find is it repeats more than n by two times. Okay, more than n by two times is means what? More than half. More than half of the elements is one number, a same number, which we are going to find that. So what we can do? If you just sort it, what happens? If you just sort it, what it will be? It will become like this, right? After sorting, as the number we are looking uh, looking for is more than n by two times definitely the number will be more than uh, collected coll collected uh, as more than half uh, half the array size so it will be collected more than half the array size if if the, if one is shifted uh, more times after sorting how how will it be there it will be like this right it will be like this uh, in this case also this is the this is the half right this is the half this is more than half so for this is the midpoint and this is more than half that's how uh, the sorting uh, collects, collects it so if we sort an array any array in this case the element in the midpoint will be definitely the element we are looking for can you guys understand after sorting as the as two is more present more than half uh, half the array size definitely the midpoint the mid will be two a 2 can be uh, na, more than mid also. Here exactly 2 is in the middle. If 2 is present 5 times also, answer will, be, answer will be the same, right? If 2 is present 5 times also, it will be more than mid. More than n, this is more than n by 2. And in the mid, what we have? In the mid, we have 2. In the mid, we have 2. Can you understand? This is, the, this is basically the question. So for that part, for in code, what we should do, the code is also very, very simple. First, we should find uh, mid, midpoint. How to find midpoint? There are two ways to find midpoint because in an even number of uh, digits, there will be a, a midpoint, odd numbers of digits, there will be a midpoint. So first, we should find the length of the array and if the array length is even or odd. If it's even, midpoint is present in n by 2. If it's odd, midpoint is present in n by 2 plus 1. That's simple. Then we will sort it and we'll just return the number in the mid array of mid that's all it's very very simple right okay, let's run and see if it's right or not yeah this hundred percent correct let's submit and see yeah it's correct but why it why it is it's running four milliseconds because for sorting it takes n log n time sorting takes n log n time so which it, it is not it is not linear time. So our work is to solve it within a linear time. So this is one approach. Now I'll say another approach which, which may come up to your mind, which is wait a minute. Ah uh, yeah, which is hash map approach. Yeah, basically if the if a question involves count, the first thing we uh, we will 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 think of is hash map, right? So we can count, we can just count the number of uh, twos here, count the number of ones here and return the count which is more than n by 2. Here, n by, what is n by 2? n by 2 is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and uh, n by 2 is 3.5 which is 3. So number repeating more than 3 times is 2. So that's all, that's how it goes. So for code, I will explain the code for this also. Wait a minute.
just what we'll do we're taking a length we'll taking the answer answer is nothing but the uh, what to say about the number which uh, which each uh, answer is nothing but the n by 2 uh, our our uh, our integer should be more th present more than the uh, count of n by 2 so here we will taking n by 2 and we are creating a hash map and for int i in nums um, this is basically another method of uh, using a for loop without using uh, uh, is index we are going to use is element so int i nums means every time uh, el the element will come uh, come inside the loop for example this is i in the first iteration then this is i in the second iteration 2 is the i in second iteration and the 3 is the, uh, 3 is the i in third iteration so like that uh, this uh, this works uh, if you use conventional approach you should use nums of i to get a uh, specific element here i is i itself is an element so if you go inside if if h doesn't contain i we'll put uh, the element and put a uh, count as one and if it already contains we'll take the previous count and add one to it so we'll take the count and after that we'll uh, we'll iterate into the hash map and if if the value is more than the answer which is n by 2 we will return the key that's all can you guys understand if you do if you don't understand this there's nothing but a basic uh, a basic way to iterate into hash map map dot entry and in how how we how did we defend uh, how did we uh, define define our hash map we will represent like this and then the number uh, iterative uh, index and then h dot entry set h is our name of our hash map and h dot entry set you should put like this and if you if we put x dot value get value we we'll we can get the value and if we put x dot get key we we'll get the key as in for we are using uh, array elements as key and uh, their count as value we'll check the value if it is greater than the required count and we'll return the key as an output that's all this is the second approach can you guys understand if you don't understand just pass and uh, see the code you can definitely understand this very simple code now let's come to third approach this is the main approach this uh, why uh, we why we can't uh, use this also we are using hash map which is an extra space and hash map itself runs as n log n time so it, it is also not feasible so we, now we are going to solve it in one, one simple iteration that is the moore's voting algorithm moore's voting algorithm is nothing but we are going to um, we are going to have two two things in mind one is element and words for it here words is nothing but count we are taking words as the count basically how it works is we are we are placing an uh, i in the starting of an array if the count is zero change the element uh, our element variable to i i is nothing but uh, in which uh, index the uh, the which element the i is referring to that's all if i is equal to equal to that uh, the element we already st already stored we will increase the count if not we are decreasing the count that's simple i'll i i I'll, I'll explain with an example let's take i is here first i i is here right In, yeah, initially count is zero so uh, what we'll do count is zero so the element will will be the element which in, in, with i is referring to How, which element i is referring to i is referring to two so the element is two and the count is zero now next case if i is equal to equal to element is i equal to equal to element yeah i and i and element are same so we are increasing the count by one and the else will not run so if so if condition satisfied for the next loop what will do i will move to i i will move to here i moves here che again check we let check if count is count is zero no so we should we do no need to change the element if if i equal to equal to element yeah i is equal to equal to element i and element are uh, same so we are increasing count by two again i comes here is count is zero if count is zero no count is not zero if i is is i equal to equal to element no i i is one and the element is two so it's not equal so what we should do if not equal we are going to decrease the count let's decrease the count by one and let's move i now i is in one is count is zero no count is not zero 
is i equal to equal to uh, element no i is also not equal to element so we should reduce the count to zero again is is count is zero yeah count is zero if count is zero what we should do we should change the element to i element is changed to i i which is nothing but one and uh, what we should do uh, if, if, if now i is equal to equal to element right now i is equal to equal to element because both are one so we are increasing the count by one now i will move to, uh, to next and now is i and uh, is count equal to zero now count is not equal to zero if i is i equal to equal to element no i is not equal to element so we are reducing the count again we will move the i now is i is i equal to equal to element is, is count is zero yeah count is zero count is zero means we'll change the element to i and if count is count and count of i and element are, if if i and element are equal yes i and element are equal so increase the count by one and that's all now at last we will we'll return return the element return the element element is nothing but two which is the correct answer all right guys okay this is the more floating algorithm nothing but we this is an is an best way to find a number have ma having maximum count with what with just one iteration now let's you can change anything here if you change anything here if you add anything here the result will be same okay guys can you understand it now now let's code it it's very easy and yet it's very very uh, it works uh, in in uh, end time and uh, with no extra space so just just what what we did in the intuition is, is basically the code there is no extra thing just get the length um, not length then we'll have a just loop for i int i in terms we had two things right one is element and other is count So first condition is what if count equal to equal to zero means what we should do we should change the element to i and next condition is what if if i equal to equal to element what we should do we should just increase the count else will decrease the count that's all at last we will return the element let's run and see yeah it's running let's run and see that's all guys it beats it beats uh, run at runtime and uh, it is it takes no extra extra space you can just look at this code you can just see the video again if you want this is a more sorting algorithm which is very very useful this is the most asked questions in any fan companies and any product based service based companies most asked question so so try to remember this approach and it will be very useful in other problems also if you have any doubt uh, ping me in the comments or if you have any suggestion for uh, the next question which i need to solve uh, in the next lead course series you can uh, leave it in the comment i uh, comment as well i'll read every everything and i'll respond to everything thank you so much